that. To make the income so that I could go climbing. And I sat there and I thought, you know, this, there's something wrong with this because I'm spending all my time writing about climbing and not going and climbing. Uh, I hate it. I really hate it. But at the same time, you know, it's the only thing that you can do. When I say that it's the only way I can make a living, it's, that's because my head likes to be in that space, really, when it comes to it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I read a really, there's a really interesting piece the other day by Will Self about his writing day, and he described, he he's a morning person, he always sort of, but there, there is always this split between morning people and night owls, and you hear sort of some writers. I, I, I know at least one writer that, that you know, full time professional writer that doesn't actually get up usually until after midday, and then they are often working. You know, they, I think he's mainly like that because his background's in theatre. Um, but I like what Will Self said about going straight from his bed to his desk because he felt that that's the, the, the less quotidian shit that gets into your head before you start writing the better and he just sort of wants that's it he'd actually set up his coffee machine the night before so it just bang and just go for it and I really I really like that I see a lot of truth in the idea of getting straight down to the work and not allowing a properly formed world to exert its pressures on you before you start writing. Unfortunately, I have a tendency to be, I can't actually start writing until I have got rid of what I think of as the really shit end of it, which is dealing with emails responding to email interview requests, all those sort of things which are the business end of writing that you have to do um, responding to requests for things and it's just as mentally time consuming to, to compose proper answers to interview questions but it actually gets your head away from where you should be in order to write so what I have to do, I can't, I can't ignore those things. It's just I'm, you're either the kind of person that can ignore a ringing telephone or not. And I can't, I just can't do it. I can't shut it, you know, I have to, I have to respond to demands. So I tend to spend the morning clearing the decks of all this extraneous stuff that is the part of the business of writing, but that isn't actually anything to do with the creative process. I try and get all that done before lunchtime so that I can then take a suitable break, which has to happen. You, you have to get rid of that from your headspace so I'll have my lunch. And then the golden hours, because I am a morning person, <laughs> I can't write till the afternoon, but the golden hours are sort of from two till 5.30. Um, that's when I can, <coughs> do it and then the evenings by which time I'm starting to wind down because I am most definitely not a night owl the evenings are when I um, research look for things look things up so I'm still working but not in the sort of hard scrabble actually composing meaningful sentences bit so I do try to keep to a routine as, it's, as if it were a normal working day, the sort of Trollopian ethos of actually treating it as a job. I, uh, it's, it is, but it is the job I want to be doing. So yeah, that's basically my day. And I, I am also the kind of person who actively thrives on routine. I need it, I need it, I'm not a, my other half is always castigating me for being completely unspontaneous and it's partially true that I do thrive, I need, I need, I need my routine very deeply because mainly because I need time, I think 
Jason was just saying, the sort of you need time to sort of get into the zone where you can actually do it. So routine forms part of that for me, enabling me to build, create the space in which to write. Yeah. Kind of sidebar that we were talking about, you know, getting rid of the crap of the day and taking it online. Which is interesting to me. I can't write if there's anything going on, and then I read about other writers who have to have like playlists and or play metal while they're writing, and I can't do it. <laughs> I do, it's weird, I do listen 